When it comes to offline marketing, choose the marketing channels that most effectively reach your target audience. Offline marketing or non-digital promotional platforms are another excellent way to let your connections know you are exhibiting. Examples of offline marketing include business networking, direct mail, printed or broadcasted media, TV, radio and billboard advertising are platforms that would typically be done by the event organiser as it's difficult to justify a return for individual exhibitors. So what platforms should be considered? As an organisation that thrive on developing relationships, we would naturally encourage you to spread the word to fellow delegates when attending business networking sessions. And remind them again when you have a follow-up meeting after the networking event. Do you have a story that is newsworthy and interesting? Are you launching a new product or service at the event? Do you have something that you are going to do at the expo that will capture the attention of the journalist? Then it's worth creating a press release and sending this across. Remember to always keep it factual and make it easy for the journalist's job to deliver your news to their readers. At our very own exhibition, the E3 Business Expo, we provide our exhibitors with a template to help them write up a press release. You are welcome to download the blog, which contains the template, and use it for the events you exhibit at. And of course, talk to the event organiser to learn what offline marketing they will be doing. This will help you understand the organiser's event strategy and may help you plan yours. As an exhibitor, not only can you use online, but also offline channels. Business networking and PR are two possible platforms. And do remember to speak to the event organiser to learn about their offline event plans. Our next post will examine the fifth P, print and merchandise. Focusing on print and the different printed materials you may need to consider for your export.